The goalposts keep being moved when it comes to energy performance. It was stated that by 2025, properties must reach EPC rating of C or above, so A, B or C to be legally compliant to be let out. And that is still the case. However, those properties that you currently have that are tenanted, whereby it's very difficult for you to go in and make all of these necessary changes to bring up the energy performance rating, you actually have until 2028 to get these properties in a suitable standard. If said tenant leaves and the property becomes vacant, then it still has to meet the 2025 dates. But it's not always easy and affordable to do. So if you're in an area Area where there are a lot of properties that are older properties, not very well insulated, creating the insulation is a huge cost and it's not viable in terms of purchase to refurbishment ratio. What are you able to do? Well, the government are bringing in some incentives in regards to this. There are new tools that are being brought in. So to give you some information, there's now a tool that you can put your property details into. It spits out to you the energy performance if you don't know. Well, the first thing that I would always say is take a step back first. Go onto the EPC register, put in the postcode of the property and find the EPC on there. EPCs last for 10 years though, so this information isn't always up to date. So what you want is a valid EPC. What you do get on an EPC assessment is information on what can be done to bring up the standard within the building, but it's, it's very generic. It's not taking into consideration these individual properties. And this is why I'm a firm believer in knowing your area is vital because there are so many different variations of construction of properties. So if I focus on the areas that I invest in in Liverpool. We've got Victorian builds, notoriously difficult for you to insulate well, so you might have to put insulation on the outside rather than the inside. You're putting battened walls up or you're putting some additional um, insulation in, so you might be reducing the room sizes. But I also invest in non-standard properties, which are a whole different ball game. So knowing your area is absolutely vital. So to give you some information on this, for each recommendation, you can see an estimated cost on the refurb works. It's not area specific, so you do want a deep dive. But it gives you an overview of it, an estimate of the improvement, how much you could save on your bills in the next step if you want to make that improvement. Now, with that in mind, there are some grants available. So there are property investors who have made it their business to get to know their area inside and out, understand the EPC ratings within their current market within those properties, and also identify what grants are available. There are a lot of government grants available. There are obviously strict criteria that you need to meet in regards to these. The ECO, the Energy Company Obligation, is a government energy energy efficiency scheme designed to tackle fuel poverty and to help reduce carbon emissions. So ECO4, as it is titled, applies to measures installed from the 1st of April 2022 and cover a four year period until the 31st of March 2026. The support forms part of a £6.6 .6 billion energy efficiency drive with a further £6 billion committed between 2025 and 2028. So if you're looking at property opportunities and you're thinking, I can't afford to do the refurb to bring it up to the required EPC rating of a grade C by 2025. So I do believe you should be doing that now, even if they're moving the goalposts. Look at what's available in terms of the grants. It might determine the type of tenants you're putting into those properties. Way back when, when I first started investing in 2015, there were a lot of viewpoints from those who weren't investing, ironically, who were saying, oh, you don't want benefit tenants within your properties. Well, actually, if the criteria is, if you have a tenant who is on some form of benefit living in your property, you are entitled to a grant to help refurb the property. It can make a non-deal into a deal, give an amazing home to a tenant who is on benefits and I have massive gratitude for my tenants who are on benefits because I get paid every single month by those and the circumstances that they are in never really change if they're you know being paid directly by the housing associations or by the council or whoever. This is a massive opportunity for you to know and understand what's happening within those markets. So what grants are available? Knowing that is absolutely vital because are they repayable? Are they grants or are they loans? Are they associated to the property? So have a look at those incentives that are available. See if any of them are viable for you and you might be able to then with the right criteria, seeing who meets that, you might choose to invest in these lower demographic areas, knowing that you're going to provide great housing to tenants who are going to move in and hopefully never move out. So if you want to know a little bit more about this, if you want to increase your knowledge around property, we have a free resource. It is a report that's going to give you top tips on how to utilize this within the buy to let market and understand what's happening within the market. So if that's something that you're interested in, in the link below, you're going to be able to access that. You want to make sure that you are notified when all of these videos come out so that you don't missed them. So what you need to do is you need to hit the like button. You need to hit the subscribe button to always be notified. You want to stay current, up to date and abreast of what is happening within the property market. So you need to make sure that you are tapping into this information.